Uh, we know that there are uh, disasters where uh, petroleum is uh, burning out of refinery and there are health issues. And your company has these devices which are, are safety in terms of respiration. So uh, what's all of this about? Uh, so really when you look at uh, some, some disasters that happened recently, the first thing that you, know, you really want to be concerned is what's in the environment. Uh, as far as vapor fumes, gases, uh, refineries are always going to have uh, emergency response teams, uh, locally vendors like ourselves, to go out and provide the equipment to check the air quality, uh, whether it be you know, VOCs or explosive gases, toxic gases. Um, so they're going to monitor that. They will make a public service announcement if the dangers increase to an area where you need to evacuate. Uh, it really depends on what's in the air. So they may make a uh, full line of respiratory protection. So if, that, uh, if the levels do get too high, the, the employees of the refineries within the plants can go in there and, and work safely uh, and to fix and correct the issue that's uh, causing the, the explosion, the heat, whatever the uh, dangerous atmosphere might be. Recently, they have an explosion of burning of uh, petro, uh, petrochemicals in a country called Cameroon in uh, Limbe. And uh, many people were afraid of uh, the gases in the air, I think uh, sulfuric acid and uh, the rainwater and related issues. Uh, so you think that uh, the affairs were proper? Yeah, absolutely. Some of those, uh, some of those uh, compounds that you mentioned can be very dangerous to your respiratory. Uh, so if you're a gas for one, for sure, can uh, be crust to the skin and also the... Uh, Every time that uh, there is an explosion in, uh, like that, it could be terrorism or related things, as you guys are involved in safety, uh, but you may have uh, an advice or some advice to give. How could they have stopped uh, some of all of that explosion and burning happening? Uh, so it really comes down to their systems in place. You need to have uh, checks and balances in your safety equipment, proper PMs, uh, have your equipment service on a regular basis. You know, all the gas detection equipment needs to be calibrated for manufacturer recommendations, whatever they might be, depending on your manufacturer. Um, and just daily, basically day, daily maintenance or weekly maintenance, whatever it is, to make sure that your systems are operating properly. Uh, with what happened around uh, Houston uh, not too long ago, you think that it, it was properly managed? Uh, for the... For the uh, magnitude of that incident, uh, I think that uh, everybody involved in that incident uh, did everything they could to make sure that the people in the you know, outer Houston area were were safe and uh, not exposed overly to anything that might have been the atmosphere. Uh, so all of our first responders, uh, safety companies around the Houston area did a fantastic job. Uh, what do you what what do you think were the contribution of the federal government, the EPA, the Energy Department, uh, Homeland Security, even the president? I'm sure that at, at times like that, uh, there is a disaster communication team that comes together and try to uh, talk to the people and community leaders on how to go about it. So you think uh, even the federal government handled it properly? Yeah, I think uh, something unexpected of that magnitude that the, the fires that happened very recently. Um, you're always going to have two sides to, to every story, right? Yep. Uh, and uh, I think, like I said, everything that, that occurred and the magnitude of the, the issue was handled probably as well as it could have been. Of course, you look back, everybody has uh, hindsight, you could have done things better than this. Something as an industry that we'll learn from and, and try to prevent here in the future. Uh, finally, uh, a suit like what you have, the respiratory uh, suits, how much do they go? How much would they cost? Uh, it really depends on your uh, your application. and uh, every, every equipment that we manufacture, all the equipment is, is built to suit different applications. Uh, so you have anything from a, a low-level dust mask that you would use in the right house painting or, or doing some uh, woodworking. That uh, you know, you can buy for a couple dollars a piece all the way to industrial fire uh, NFPA model SCBAs that range in the probably two to three thousand dollar range. So it's really built on your application and uh, what kind of protection. Thank you very much.